Hello and welcome to our series of YouTube videos that will teach you how to solve the Rubik's Cube. If you haven't seen our introduction videos already, then I recommend you go and watch those because they will teach you important information about um, how the cube is built and how we're going to teach you some of the methods that we are using. But if you've seen those and you're ready, then let's do it. Um, your scrambled cube is kind of like this. It's kind of like a whole mess of messed up Lego blocks. And so to build your Rubik's Cube, you need to start from the bottom layer and find the right pieces and build up layer by layer until you get to the top. So to start, um, you need to find the uh, white piece on, white middle piece on your cube. Chandler, can you show us where, where it is on this one? It's right here. If you find that, and this is the Lego equivalent, then that's where you start. That is the bottom middle of the cube. And we're going to start building up by finding other pieces that have yellow, uh, that have white on them. And we're going to eventually make, in this lesson, a white cross like that, which will form a beautiful foundation for you to be able to build up your cube. So the special thing about our videos is that we're going to use music and Lego uh, to make these ideas easier for you. So uh, the first thing we're going to do to teach you uh, the idea of how to make this white cross foundation, uh, we're going to use a Lego model. So it's building time! Okay, so this is the story of these four trooper siblings, and here they are coming home after a long day of battle. Can you help her? What do they say when they come home, Jenna? Mommy, we're home. And the mommy says, What happened to your pants? Yeah, what happened to their pants? You know what happened to their pants? Some evil bounty hunters stole their pants. Good thing you were wearing jammies underneath. Let's come have dinner. Good thing they were wearing their jammies. Luckily, they're wearing the jammies of their favorite color. These trooper siblings actually always coordinate themselves like this. They have those jammies. And also, if you look at their dining chairs, their jammies match their dining chairs, right? So, each trooper is gonna sit at their correct chair. That's what needs to happen. Now these troopers, as you can see, one is blue and white, one is green and white, one is red and white, and one is orange and white. And here they are, sitting beautifully at the dining table, the white dining table, correctly with their colored butts on the right colored chairs. How nice is that, right? So, in order to demonstrate what that means for the cube, what you're going to do is you're going to hold your cube with the white facing up. That is the dining table. Then you're going to find these troopers. As you can see, this trooper has green pants and a white top. You have to try and put him, Shani, why don't you show us? Turn it in such a way. That was nice, that was nice. Now the, the, the trooper with the green pants is sitting on the green chair. Let's pretend that each of these center pieces here are the dining chairs. A blue dining chair, an orange dining chair, a green dining chair, and a red dining chair. And all you have to do is to find the right troopers and put them in the right dining chairs. Show us, Jenny. Keep going. And in this part, we're not going to teach you any methods or algorithms or anything. What I really want you to do is to play with your cube and turn things around and really try it by yourselves. You really should be able to um, work out how to get these four troopers into their correct dining chairs by yourself. And if you have trouble, then um, just keep trying. Uh, there are kind of algorithms and methods to um, help you do this, but working it out right now and really achieving it by yourself is going to go a long way in showing you how the cube works and make you a better cuber, I think, in the long run. If this dining chair method is a little bit frustrating, 
Then there's one other method you can try. It's called the daisy method. Now the daisy method, you know, a daisy has a yellow center and white petals. All you have to do in the daisy method is to get all the white petals to the top layer to make a daisy. And you don't have to worry about which white petal goes where. You just have to get all the white petals to the top layer facing upwards like that. Even if it doesn't match any other side, I wouldn't worry about that. You just made a really, really nice daisy. That's a really nice one, Sherman. Mm -hmm. And then all you have to do is to get this green white into the proper place, you match up the side of it to the center and do a wee and bring it down and it'll come into the right place. Then you find the next one, look at that, that's lined up and then you go wee and that goes down there. And then you find another one, let's look at, um, oh, you already moved that. Okay, so the orange one is lined up and then you go do this wee. And then finally, you look at this white blue, you make sure that it matches up the center and then you do the same thing and you will end up with that white cross that you need. I like this method because um, most cubers uh, will cube with the white um, side facing downwards. It's a really nice way to practice keeping the yellow top because when I said we're going to build a building, that's I meant starting from the white at the bottom and each layer and ending with the yellow at the top. So it really is a good way to get into practice doing that. But either of these ways work. Uh, go. Uh, work hard on trying to move those stormtrooper pieces around to their right dining chairs um, and uh, If you have any difficulty, maybe we'll make a video at the very end of this series Helping you out with a couple of algorithms to help you slot them in, but good luck and happy cubing